How's it going everybody? My name is Philip and today I feel like getting a little bit emotional. Occasionally I like to watch these to make sure that <laughs> or not to make sure, just to let myself know that there's there's good people out there. You know, so this is random acts of kindness, faith in humanity restored. I don't know about that, but it definitely helps helps me realize that there's not a bunch of terrible assholes out there. And, and and so I don't you know what this is gonna be a try not to cry challenge okay <laughs> I'm joking but uh, I do think that this is definitely something that people tend to overlook a lot of times you know we, see, we we might see something big like this and and we might just not think much of it because we're thinking of ourselves and we're thinking of what we're about to go do. So I can't wait to go home. It's like, okay, I need to get this and this from the grocery store. I need to go get this. I'm really thirsty. I need to get this. I need to do that. A lot of the times we're thinking about ourselves. And I'm and I'm very guilty of this all the time. You know, it's, it's either I prioritize my job or I prioritize trying to go help people. You know? A lot of the times, like I, I think I've mentioned this in the past, I'm driving to work, I'm already five minutes late, and <clears throat> this doesn't happen all the time. I'm not always late, okay? But like um, the majority of the time, I'm, I'm, I'm five minutes late, not like late, but it, it, it's getting close, basically. And I see someone Obviously, I, I work in the morning, so I wake up at 4 in the morning to go to work at 5. And the issue is, I, when I'm driving to work, I remember I, I, I noticed that there's certain spots around my way to work that I see a lot of homeless people. There's a certain bus stop where a guy camps out at. You know, it's all... He, he takes up the entire bus stop, and he covers and blankets and everything and and literally since there's no buses running at the time it's fine and that's on my right on my left there's this little it's kind of it's kind of abandoned it's been closed the building has been closed for basically since the pandemic started uh there's a guy that kind of does it somewhat similar there's like a little opening where the doors are you know so there's the doors and then there's like this little gap between the door and, and, and where the rest of the building ends at. He camps out there. Further down the line, right by a Starbucks, there's a guy sleeping on the floor. And it, it's, 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 I see that all, all the time. And then when I get off work, I, I tend to try and look for them. And I don't know if it's the same people, but I'm in the middle of traffic and I can't get over or... There's all these. There's always excuses to not help someone, and I'm very guilty of that. And I feel like shit half the time once I get home, but then I I push it out my mind because, you know, I you gotta watch out for your mental health, so you gotta block it out so you can be happy. You gotta worry about yourself, right? You know, and and that's when, and then when you think back on those moments, it's like shit. I could have done something really good for someone. And then and then you get in a, in a sad mood again. Anyways. So, I'm interested in seeing some random acts of kindness. It's already at Disneyland, so I love it already. Uh, I had one experience like that at Disneyland, and, and I absolutely love it. But uh, we're not talking about that. We're, we're going to react to random acts of kindness. Let's check it out. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we will show you more heartwarming acts of kindness that'll make your day. Yay, cause I need it. Seeing Dwayne The Rock Johnson in person was the last thing these men expected and they were shocked when he showed up. Oh, oh my God, The Rock, oh my God, no. Oh my God. Yo, That's kinda this cool. Is, I'm shaking right now. They've got some men. A car and a bike <laughs> got into an accident, but luckily no one got hurt. The biker showed a gesture of kindness to the car driver, asking if everything is all right. He's got a heart of gold. Wait, what happened? I hurt. Oh my god! 
A car and a bike got into an accident, but luckily no one got hurt. The biker showed oh. a gesture of kindness to the car driver, asking... Okay. This go. is one wholesome reunion between a fan and a hockey player who <laughs> met long ago without knowing they'd meet again. The fan showed the player their old picture and was gifted the personal stick of his in return. That's cool. See, that's one thing I love about sports. You know? Aww. Where is it? Where are you going to I'm going to cry. I should have brought tissues. <laughs> That's mean. Don't give him a magnifying glass. There's just a lot to read, apparently. My gosh, a whole paragraph. Oh. Is that yes? <laughs> Big brothers always look out for the younger one under any circumstances. Sure. Even if they're small, the older one is helping his bro with breathing exercises. Something my brother never did. <laughs> Just throw him under the bus. <laughs> For his 30th birthday, this Warriors fan got a big surprise from his girlfriend, which is a trip to San Francisco to watch his favorite team play. The nice. whole trip was full of fun and memorable moments, and he cherished his girlfriend more than ever for her efforts to make him happy. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's actually really cool. Hmm. Well, at least they won. It, w it wouldn't have been as special if they lost. Still would have been huge, just not as good. Having a niece named after you is such a blessing that every aunt feels proud of. She couldn't hold her tears back when a couple broke the news to her. <laughs> I don't know how I would react if my brother named <laughs> a delivery like a guy was bringing a package and like saw a cute strange. puppy on the swing. He spent some time playing with him. See it. Yo, this is terrible. Terrible video. I can't see it. How dare you tease me like this? Although the size of your body is small, the size of your heart can do a lot for others. It's not the amount of good that you do that matters, but the intention of doing it. This is something everyone needs to remember. What team is that? Oh, it's United. Okay. For a child, there's nothing more precious than seeing their parents alive. It's something most of us do not possess. Aww. Unfortunately, my family doesn't have anything famous like that for me to do, but... <laughs> On a 
cutting board. Okay. I learned what it meant by engraved on a cutting for him. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest not to cry. I'm thinking of like some dark stuff right now. Thank you. Because I don't want to cry. Thank you. And not bring tissues. To shed a light in a child's heart requires nothing but a will to act. Nice words will always find a way to make someone's day. unimaginable is how far fathers are willing to go for their daughters. A working class man got his daughter her dream dress, which meant a world to her. Your father is your hero. <laughs> is that like for homecoming or prom or something? See? That's why I have not Good people. Work on my week at school. I'm scared to go home because of my grades. Do not stress yourself over grades. Grades don't define you. You could fail everything and be the smartest person in the room. You could fail out of school and be the most successful person. You can also Yo. get 100s all throughout school and be the least successful person in the room. Okay, so that's one thing I think I need to. I don't know if there's a video on this, but I saw an article on. on, on uh, I didn't read it, but I, there was like a bunch of pictures of celebrities that did not finish high school. And Tom Cruise was one of the pictures. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if Tom Cruise actually finished high school or not. But Tom Cruise. Everyone fucking knows who Tom Cruise is. Maybe, I don't know how much the new, I mean, I feel like the newer generation would have seen Mission Impossible a lot. Right? But I don't know if that's true or not. But that that's insane. You know? Grades do not define your success. Why? A little boy's comforting his sister like an adult when she's crying and feeling down. Why? <laughs> Why must you cry? This is <laughs> you and I happy. Okay. Open your mouth. There's no way it's us. Okay? Okay, the be bed. Okay. Be bed? Okay. What was he eating? And brave. Let's go. A very dirty side. face. Where's he coloring? <laughs> Our pets love us more than we love them. Their ability to understand us emotionally is mind blowing. See, no, that's another thing here in the U.S. Is that it's kind of ridiculous how we don't get paid a living wage that tips mean that much. My little one broke his arm two weeks ago right after he turned four. Capital Airlines. Would you mind raising your hand? Oh my God! <laughs> because your son would like to say that you're the greatest mom ever.
That's cute. Love you. Only the real ones put their mothers first. Kudos to this man for his act of kindness. Happy understood. Mother's Day to everybody. I'm at the Giants game in McCovey Cove, and Mike Ostrevsky just hit splash at 93, and it landed right in front of me here. And, Mom, I know you're up in heaven. Here's a Mother's Day ball to you. You're the best. Mom ever. Teachers deserve more appreciation than they usually Damn get, straight. but this time it really happened. One of the teachers in Virginia received an award that's like the Oscar for teachers. All the schools showed up to celebrate her with a surprise ceremony. Some of us work long shifts to make ends meet, and even then, what we do may not be enough. So it's up to people who can help them to be generous with what they have. Like this man that handed a huge tip to this lady for her hard work. She got very emotional about it and thanked him with a big hug. Yo, look at that stack though. I was about to say, you just give it all to her. What's up with this? Why can't we hear? It's probably good because I'd be crying. It's moments like this that it's kind of hard to say that money doesn't buy happiness. Maybe it's not happy. Maybe it's more just relief. <laughs> Money definitely helps buy. They say relief. you do kindness to your mother first and then others. Russell followed this by saying that he got to see his mother's happiness once more, that he wouldn't trade for anything in the world. Oh. <laughs> Are you I'm like, no, mom. Just oh God, try, it oh try it on the door, see if it works. Oh my God! No, 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 no! No, no, you're taking the film, but this is not funny. No, don't do that. No, 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 y'all lying. No, you're not telling me. <laughs> yeah, make sure the key works before you completely get broken down. Like, come on. <laughs> She's not even taking a step yet. First there step. She goes. <laughs> I did. I got to go. I got to pray tonight. <laughs> I totally got to pray tonight. Yo, the kid wants to go inside so bad. No, it's all good. 
Like, just let me Thank in. Thank you for watching. We hope you share some love around today. Leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next <laughs> one. That was really good. I, I, I really enjoyed that. And it's definitely something that I needed to see. Just because I needed a little bit of a pick-me-up. I feel like I I don't know I just feel like I, I, I focus way too much on all the bad stuff all the things I I should have done all the things that I sh could do and, and, and this and that that I just need to focus on, on, on the good and what I see that's the problem is what I can do but then I, I don't do those which also doesn't help you know but yeah, this this was definitely something that I felt like I needed. Thanks for watching. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content just like this. I have some other music stuff coming up as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.